Hello my friend, welcome to the my lecture. In this lecture we'll talk about routing with redundancy, redundancy. So uh, first we'll start with IP package. Uh, let's start with me, what we'll do together. Let's look. <clears throat> On the massive network known as the internet, competing devices send all kinds of messages to other competing devices. A message might be a teeny ping to check if another device is online or a message could be an entire web page. But there is a limit to how large a message can be seen since there is a limit to how much data can reasonably, reasonably, reasonably transmitted at once by the physical network connections between devices. That's why many networking protocols split each message into multiple small package, packets. The internet, the internet protocol IP describes. No, I will go a little slow. Describes. I said, yeah. IP describes. Yeah. So each IP describes the structure of the package that weighs around the internet. Each IP package contains both a header 20 or 20 bytes long, which is, I'm talking about header point, so which is this point. It's just 24 bytes for this point. Uh, and data variable length uh, header includes IP addresses of the source and destination plus other fields that help to route the package. The data is the actual actual contents such as a string of letters a part of a web page let's calm down yeah to here i told you now in that point the four bit uh, four bytes sorry the 32 bits four bytes is that point version length script type package length this point is just tacking four bytes which is 32 bits four time eight so header point, which is this point, so not uh, data, the only this point, options, padding, destination, IP address, source, IP address, is all kind of information, just uh, up to down, 24 bytes, and uh, left to right is 4 bytes, okay? 4 bytes, is like that. So then you have data point, so it is like letter, just think, our information, our data in, in the ladder. Okay, like that. Let's come down. Oh, let's go left later. Uh, okay. And slowly, slowly come down. Okay. Let's come here. Okay. You can think of IP packages like postal letters. The header is the envelope with all the routing information that's needed by the post office. And the payload is the letter that's read only by the recipient. Recipient. Well, what I'm saying, you'll understand better. The recipient. Yeah. Now, destination IP address will be here. Our data inside that. Source IP addresses also here. Okay. So, our sender IP address, destination IP address, which is IP address. So, data will inside it. The, all things will be 20, so four bytes in that point. So four bytes, I'm talking about this point. Well, wait, four bytes will be this point and the after. So this kind of place will be 24 bytes. So which is, I'm talking about this, this point. And this point will be four bytes, okay? So let's look the right side. Data will be inside this package. Anyway, let's come here. Uh, yeah, just like the postal system roads, postal ladders around the world, like internet protocol roads, IP packets around the internet, like that. Let's come to here, what we will talk here, internet routing, well, just come a little slowly, okay. Internet routing protocol, this is subtopic of uh, our uh, the main topic in the internet protocol IP computers uh, split messages into package packets and those packets hop from router to router on the way to their destination well 
just going one rotor and rotor just selecting another rotor just it want to go very fast so it have to go very fast i mean this is some visualization which is demonstration he demonstrated here like it's going first to here and this going here and coming from here to here it's like that and here and it's going to point okay so it can go also like that like that but why it's not going like that it's just a uh, rotor uh, just selecting best idea which is uh, the hierarchical okay just think that we have we need to go this point and this is our uh, initial point it's just looking uh, the things like uh, ip addresses which is 192 just think like that and another one is 193 it's if it is going 192 point uh, uh, like uh, like 25.28 like that it's going in 192 then it's going away it's not going 193 because why we need to go inside 192 like thing this point not this point then we need to go inside it at some point so there 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 was some uh, hierarchy okay like that let's step top top uh, the process of routing a package from its source or destination with a cage. Let's come here. What is talk? Yeah. Step one. Send package to router. Computer sent the first package to the nearest router, I told you. A router is a type of computing device used in a computer networks that helps move the packets long, which as I told you there there is we have IP. Uh, numbers, the sender IP numbers, and this one is the our uh, which is receiver IP address. So it knows it is router. It's first going to here. So I, I mean, for go to the uh, the correct destination, correct point. I mean, and then our router is there. Let's look what we need to see there. Okay. You likely have a router in your home or classroom right now, and that's the first uh, that's the first stop for your current computer's package. Yeah, the first one is that. Now let's come step two. What we have here, okay? In steps two, routers receives package. Router receives package. Okay. Uh, pencil. When the router receives a package, it looks uh, at its IP header. The most important field is the name, destination, IP address, which it tells the router where the package wants to end up. Like, uh, it have to know next point which place. Like, it have to know. So I mean, uh, our sender can have to know it. Like, router have to know. It. Well, uh, then let's go like that. Um, like that. Okay, let's go IP header. Okay. And yeah. Let's go a little slowly. Now IP header. We have field here. It's more than ten. I told you twenty-four bytes attacking this point. We have many more details there, which is source IP addresses. So this is our point. Destination, so this is our initial point, and this point is our destination, so which is correct destination, what we want to go, where we want to go. Uh, so version, time to leave, and mo many more information, many more fields there. So it's our point, it's content and field. Rotor, so step three, uh, step three router forwards package. It's uh, one minute right here. The router has multiple paths. Uh, in, it could send the package along, and its goal is to send the package to a router that's closer to its final destination. Well, let's visualize it. So we have three points. Which point will be to, to correct point? So for send to message very fast than other quick than other uh, than others uh, let's come down how does it how does it decide 
the rotor has a forwarding cable that helps it pick the it pick the next path based on the destination IP address. The table does not have a role for every possible IP address. There are two, so 32, 32, uh, uh, 32 power of two possible IP addresses. This is many more address, so many more point. Uh, in hierarchy and that's for too much to store instead to the table has rows for IP addresses prefixes so IP addresses prefixes which is like that so just I told you 91 91 the first point like 192 is another point so this is in hierarchy we can go inside 91 and we can the our router will send we can so our router can send 198 or uh, 100 112 uh, okay you can send there so well let's come down what you're saying ip addresses are hierarchical when two ip addresses started with the same prefix that often means they are on the same large network with it in the same hierarchy hierarchy like the comcast sp network rather forwarding forwarding tables take advantage of that fact so that they can store for less information Let's bring it a little left. Okay. Once the router locates the most specific row in the table for the destination IP addresses, it sends the package along that path. Okay. Now the here, let's say it's going from two, which is two over point. So this is best point to go there because I told you this all about hierarchy and routers just selecting best info, best best way to best way to be quick for that so also we have some disaster sometimes they can cut to uh, cables and they can cut to connections it can be also this is dangerous but let's speak later about it oh, this is our programming value. anyway let's come down step four Let's talk about step four, what we have there. Okay. Let's come a little down. Okay. The step four, final roller forwards message. If all gets well, the package should eventually arrive at a roller that knows exactly where to send it. What I'm talking. Uh, IP address pre prefix is 91.112, it's first point, 91.198, which is our direct point is that first it will go 91, this IP package will, will go uh, the first point here, Comcast point, and 198, it will go there for the hierarchy, it will go inside 198, at this point, 174, and it will go there. So 192, this is the our correct destination. We will not be, we don't need to go inside that because our correct destination is not that, okay? Let's come down. Oh, what I did, I need to go a little slowly. Um, let's go to here like that. So here, let's say the router can now, can now can now send the message to the, to the destination IP addresses, which may be a personal computer or a server, which is, I told you, this is our sender IP, IP address, and this is receiver. Uh, so we have some hierarchical, uh, hierarchical circle there. It's all the way going with the routers there, and this kind of things happen. Well, this is another subtopic. Uh, which is important big subtopic it's about redundancy and fault tolerance which is important in this topic let's come down okay in the internet protocol IP computers split message into packages and do those and those packages hop from router in router on the way to their destination again talk about it so it's going all the way like that what happens if a network path is no longer available like due to a natural disaster I told you, physically destroying it or a cyber criminal attacking it? It is the package doomed to never reach its destination. 
what do you think? Normally it had to go from this point, but it's uh, some disaster happened there, like uh, earthquake or another thing, and this uh, cable is not possible to work for the, our router or the fiber cable or another things. Okay, what will be? Let's discuss it with me here. Okay, we can do it. Okay, redundancy in routing. Fortunately. There are often many possible paths a package can go down to reach the same destination. The availability of multiple paths increases the redundancy of a network. Consider the simplified network connection connecting routers in four major cities. Okay. Auckland, Austin, Tampa, New York. So we have two roads here. Anyway, let's start it. Let's come down. There are multiple path, uh, paths from the Auckland Roder to New York. Uh, Auckland, yeah, here. Yes, let's check it, what we can do here at that point. So, uh, the, first, the first and shortest path goes gas from Auckland to Austin to New York. New York. Like Auckland, Austin to New York, like that. So, which I'm talking like the first point is that, the second point is that. And what it's saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first, the first shortest, and it's going like that. And the another ones, which is, it's, I will attack my normal point. Because it's, yeah, it's it's like that. We have already here. Let's come down. A slightly, a slightly longer path goes path gas yes, uh, from Auckland to Austin, Tampa to New York. It can go also like that. Okay. Let's bring it there. It can go also like that at the same time. And let's come down. What we can do there. Okay. Why this is redundancy so important? If the connection between the Austin and New York router is no longer available, then there is still another way to package to reach its destination. Yeah. Just think. Uh, we have problem here in disaster. So if some disaster happened between Austin and New York. Then we can go from Auckland, Auckland, Austin, Tampa to New York. Yeah, it will be maybe a little bit far, but yeah, it's some um, some way to bring information because we are talking about the sister. The redundancy of the path in the ne ne network increases the number of possible ways the package can reach its destination. Uh, check your understanding. Uh, we can check your understanding. Let's do it together. The ARPANET was the precursor to the internet, the network where internet technology was first tested out. It got started, it got started in 1969, which is uh, four computers connected to each other. This is a map of ARPANET in 1969. Okay, let's check it. So what we have here and our question, what? let's check it. What it's saying. How many routes are there between Utah and Ukla? Let's check it. How many routes we have there? Utah and Ukla. How many ways? What do you think? It can go like that, right? First, it can go like this way. And then but the question will be different here, I think. Right, let's check it. Okay, I need to check. How many routes are there between Uta and Ukla? Okay, these two routes have it, we have there. The first routes will be between this point, like this Ukla, this way. Another way will be point, and this will go like that. So it is two way. I mean, okay, our answer will be two at that point. Let's put there two. 
Okay, our answer is two. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think here uh, something different. Wait, me. Wait, just wait here. Yeah, it's just two. Okay, <laughs> I just mixed things there. Well, just two rows, like I, I showed you. Let's look fault tolerance. It will be like what? A fault tolerant system is one that can experience failure or multiple failures in its components, but still continue operating properly. Okay. The internet is massive and complex system with millions of components that can break at any time, and many of those components do break. But as of 2020 or 2020, nobody has managed it. Let's go a little right. Mm. Yeah, bragged to the inter entire internet. All of those, uh, yeah, has managed to brag to the inter entire internet. Uh, let's say a big contributor to the fault tolerance of the internet is the redundancy in the network routing path. Okay, consider the number of underseas. Okay, and underseas cables connecting the the eastern side of the United States to the western side Europe. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like that, all is going. And every day disaster happening, and what do you think? Well, if one of those cables is damaged, uh, there are multiple other cables that can carry internet traffic over, over the Atlantic, or Atlantic Ocean. Okay. Okay, let's come here. Or to put, or to put in another way, it another way where there is no single point of failure between the cost. A single point in, of failure is a component in the system that will bring down the entire system if it fails. When we are trying to make sure a system is fault tolerant, we look for single points of failure and find ways to add redundancy of this point of this point now consider the manager major number of undersea cables between these polynesian islands in the south pacific which is you can see a major number of undersea cables let's check it the points are here you can check if a cable is cut between cook islands and french polynesia how will uh, that affect the internet on those islands. In some cases, a cable cat can bring down an, an entire country. In 2019, a ship anchor, uh, anchor dragging along the sea floor cut the cable to Tonga and cut their internet access of, uh, for 11 days. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't take, to, that take much to cut a cable in 2011, a grandmother in the country of Georgia accidentally damaged a cable with her shoulder, resulting in, a, in all Armenia losing internet access for five hour, hours. Cable cuts happen relatively frequently around every three days, according to the network's analyst Sitepen Beckert. Most of the time, the average internet user doesn't even notice when cuts happen in the gets, and the cable gets uh, fixed. Uh, up by one of many cable repair ships when we do notice the cable cuts that usually means there is a single point of failure and it's time to add redundancy to the system which is we, we need to make more to reach the destination in that point you don't need to stop okay why don't we start off with redundancy everywhere? As you might guess, it's expensive to undersea cable what connects Tonga to Fiji was estimated to cost about 30 million and that's relatively short cable. When Google installed a high speed fiber optic cable between the US and Tokyo, it cost $300 million. When it's too expensive to duplicate a resource, it may be possible to find ways to force system gracefully great in the face of failure during the Tonga outage 
satellite providers rush to provide internet access, they might not have been able to provide the same speeds as a fiber cable connection, but any internet connection is better than no internet connection. That's true. So, that's the point. Okay. Yeah. It's right here, yeah, connection at all. Consider the fault tolerance of the inter infrastructure around you, how much redundancy in, uh, is in the electrical system of your home a com or computer lab. Uh, are there any single points of failures? So what would be the least uh, expensive way to increase the redundancy? Let's, you can think about it. So you can write in comments. Uh, check your understanding again. Uh, okay. The 1970 opponent was not very fault tolerant with software connections with the nodes. A failure could easily disrupt opponent. So, okay. Now, the point is that, let's come down. If a computer wanted to send message from UTA to BBN, that's UTA. Where is UTA? That's UTA to BBN, this point. What it can do? Let's check. Mm hmm BBN, which connections definitely needed to stay available? Oh, this UCLA and uh, UCLA and BBN have to be there. <laughs> UCLA and BBN, that's because our first point is that this is very easy question. Yeah, but you need to know. <laughs> yeah, you, you're just learning with, uh, with my lectures, right? Okay. Okay, now the point will be our internet routing protocol tactic question. Mm -hmm. We'll start with it now. Okay, let's bring down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll go, we'll continue from here. Yes, my friend, let's start. Internet routing protocol protect practice questions. Why does each IP package contain a destination address? Why? Now we will discuss it together, then we can find solution. Let's come. Mm. It's a little down. Maybe you can go a little up. Why it's not going up too much? Okay. <sighs> Routers can see where a package comes from by examining the destination address and make sure not to send it back. Computers can look at the destination address to see if the package has been hacked along the way. Computers use the destination address to figure out how to resemble like a package in the correct order. The web browser uses destination, this one is not that. Routers use the destination address to decide where to send where to send the, a package next. This one is true. What do you think? The A, which one? B, C, D, E. What do you think? Look again the question. Destination address. Answer is E. That point. Okay. If you know better, put, put it there. Maybe I can. Uh, I can coincide it to your brain. Possible. If it is 
it's not true, tell me. Maybe I can consider to consider to that. Which IP package contains a destination IP address? Okay. What is the primary purpose of the destination address? It helps the router in order to send the package. It helps the receiving computer resemble the package. It helps the sending computer how know how to long know. It tells the router where the package comes from. It prevents the package from being in. So which one is true? What do you think? It helps the router know where to send the package. This one is true. And where is that? So if you think it's not just right, maybe I convinced it to there. Maybe it's some fake. What do you think? If fake just write me correct answer, then I will understand you are really a good follower for these lectures. Maybe I trick you. Yeah. Okay, the three. In the internet protocol IP, computers send messages to each other through a network of routers with each message split up into packages. Okay. Come down. Let's come down. Okay, how do routers determine where a package needs to go? Brothers look up the package ID in a database and find the destination address in the database. Brothers look at the IP package header and use the destination address field. Brothers ask DNA, DNS servers for the final destination of uh, Brothers make best guesses with the content of the package data. Um, others wait for subsequent packets to contain the destination address. Which one is true? What do you think? Hmm? Rudders look at the IP package header and use the destination address field, right? This point is true. Okay. This is end of the first place. Let's come for this point. Now we'll talk about redundancy and fault tolerance practice questions. Let's check. Startup is a web company that's running their servers out of their garage. Their network administrator is tasked with determining if there is a single point of failure in the network. A router whose outage could cause their servers to lose connection to the internet. The administrator analyze, analyzes this partial, partial, part Diagram of the network. Okay. Each circle is a router. Each line is a connection, and the lines with rows indicate connections to further uh, routers on the internet. How many single points of failure would the network administrator find? How many single points of failure would the network administrator find? What do you think? This two point is crazy. Have you seen this point? It's not good. It have to be like that. And but what? What like? It have to be like what? Hmm? What have to be here? This point have to be like that. What will be? What do you think, guys? Let me know. Do you think it's like that? Or do you have any idea? Hmm? Tell me in comment. Okay. Have you think? How many single points of failure would be with the network and administrator find? Two points. Let me see. Check it. Hmm? What do you think? How many single points of failure and network administrator points? There and will be something there too. Let's put if it is two 
it's true. So I can trick you. I can fake you. Let's check it. Okay. I will put there too, but it can be anything. What do you think? If you have some another idea, let's put there. Maybe this is tricky. Question. I ask you two tricky points. Internet routing is designed to be fault tolerant. What implications does that have for the internet performance during a network disaster? A neural disaster can never bring down the internet because there will always be an off road available. The internet can routing keep routing messages as long as an off road space stay available, but it could be broken down entirely. The internet can be switched over these emergency network routes, which cannot be down. It's not true. If a neural disaster happens the internet will act in more roads in the world it's not that what do you think guys a neural disaster can never ring down the internet because there will be always up roads it's not true it's answer is b the internet can keep roading messages as long as an off roads stay available but it could be bro bro down entirely okay let's come down this is yeah. a gaming company is putting together a gaming tournament called Game Zone. Some of the competitions will be with players aside the conference to the organizers who want to make sure their connection to the internet reliable. Reliable. The organizers partner with three internet providers, where is on B E D and V V D and B. And Infinix. This diag diagram illustrates their connection to the internet. Okay. Each circle is a router, each line is a connection, and the lines with arrows indicate connections of the routers on the. Unfortunately, this network is not uh, fault tolerant. There is a still single point of failure. What do you think? Which routers need to stay available? For game continuous. So just think. B have to be there always. Because all is connected there. Here. 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 So sorry. Here. 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 All is from here. So let's look at the answer. Rotor B is the correct answer here. What do you think is true or not true? Maybe something different, here, but this one is true. Maybe <laughs> let's check it. Okay. Okay. This is the last one. Oh, why it's crazy like that? Okay. Yeah. End of the topic. Now we'll start transporting packages, and we'll talk about transporting package and the problem with package well this is more for the lecture uh, we, 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 view, we use all of them we seen we saw all these things and they finished already okay our first topic is that see you, see you very soon for another lecture early talk